What's up, makeup minions? I'm Kim Witty from Witty Artistry, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button below to become part of the Witty Artistry family. I wanted to do a beauty makeup look inspired by the awesome movie, The Black Panther, and also try out a new form of tutorial. Let's get started. If you like me and like my videos, it would mean the world to me if you became a sponsor on my Patreon page. Hey guys, so normally I do a makeup tutorial with a voiceover, but I thought it would be kind of fun to try something new for like shorter makeups, like a beauty makeup or a boil or a cut or something, if I actually sat down and I talked to you guys while I do the makeup. So I apologize if it's a little clunky or if there's any weird noises, because I am in a basement. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to do a beauty makeup that's inspired by the Black Panther. So I'm going to be combining the silvers and the blacks to create a beauty makeup that's got, you know, the little, the wild feel of the Black Panther, if that makes any sense. So what I'm going to be using is NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder, this little guy, spooling my brows first. So upward and outwards is what I've seen done on the internet, so let's just go with that. This is an adventure. Oh my gosh, I have so many flyaway hairs. Ooh, I really need a haircut start over with those hairs. I think they're beyond saving. Okay, got them raked upwards. So now to go on with this black powder. Here we go. So I think what I'm going to be doing is drawing a line in the middle and then sort of feathering it through the brow itself uh, and sort of lining the lower half of it and just feathering it upwards and outwards. Yeah. Now we just gotta make this one look like that one. Okay, my little baby spoolie. And I'm gonna dip it in the wax that's in this um, NYX eyebrow little thing so I can shape the brows. Get a little generous helping of it on there. Oh yeah! Eyebrows! And now I'm going to move on to the eyes. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put concealer down first, followed by eye primer, just because I've seen online that it makes the color more vibrant, more saturated, which is what I'm going for for this look. Something dramatic, you know, for the Black Panther. Well, I'm going to be applying Makeup Forever's Ultra HD Concealer, and I'm going to be applying it with my Beauty Blender. So you take the sponge, you dunk it in the water, it soaks it all up and it'll expand. Just dry it off, and then you have this really fluffy, awesome little egg thing to put on makeup. Let me get out my palette here. So I'm going to be putting down a bit of concealer. Oh my gosh, is it empty? Okay, no, thank god. I was gonna say, well, and that's the end of today's tutorial. There's my concealer, gonna take this, and I'm gonna apply it to my upper lid. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. Now that I have a more even canvas for my eyes, I guess if we want to call them canvases, I am going to apply eye primer. So this is Urban Decay's eye primer potion. And you just apply it, blend it out the same way I did with the Beauty Blender. And this has been known to really grab on to the pigment for eyeshadows and it makes the makeup look stay longer and avoid creasing. I'm going to apply it directly to my beauty sponge. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Same thing to the other side. This actually makes my eyes look pretty bright and cheerful, so that's exciting. <laughs> makes it look like I actually got a full night's rest, which doesn't happen very often. You know what? My acne's driving me nuts, so I'm gonna quickly cover it up. I am going to be using a little bit of NYX Color Correcting Green Concealer, and then the concealer I had already gotten out before just to really dead in the reds and sort of reset the color back to my actual skin tone. That really helped remove the redness for sure. So now I feel a little bit more comfortable. Not that there's anything wrong with acne, but my acne has been really bad recently. But what I'm going to start with is a lid lingerie. Yes, Lid Lingerie Eye Tint by NYX Cosmetics. It is in the color White Lace, and that'll be the base of the inner portion of my eyes. 
and I will be applying silver on top of that to make it really sparkle and then doing sort of a smoky, huge cat eye in black on the outer wing. Let that dry a little bit. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, my eyes, they feel like refreshed. I like this product. We'll see how it works with shadow over it, but so far so good. But I'm going to bust out a super ghetto trick that I have seen all over the internet that I actually do every time I do any beauty makeup, which is use scotch tape. I'm just getting off a piece, put it on my hand, getting it all oily, you know. You want to do this a couple of times. Don't put it on the spot on your hand that you put notes on, because then you'll have pen on your face. So don't do that. So I'm gonna be putting the tape on my face just so when I blend out the eyeshadow, when I pull it off, it'll be like a super awesome fine line. I found that this is literally the only way that I can do beauty makeup that I like is with this tape method because otherwise I just end up getting it everywhere and it's just horrible. <laughs> so this is, this is what I personally do. They also sell um, eye tape that's meant for this and it's less clunky and ghetto, but I mean, you got scotch tape. If you do the sticky remove trick, it doesn't hurt your skin, so. The only important thing when you're doing this is to make sure that the tape is at the same angle, so when you pull it off, they match. Next step, I think, is starting with a really dark black in the crease and the outer corner and blending it inwards. I am going to be using my personal favorite black uh, eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Smoked Palette. It is like the blackest of black and I love it. I'm gonna be using a chisel brush to apply the darkest areas first because it really holds on to the pigment well. Prepare yourself, there's gonna be a lot of fallout. I'm keeping it primarily concentrated to the outer portion of my eye, but I'm going to be fading it inward. Now that I've laid the black, I'm just gonna be using a fluffy brush just to sort of feather out and like blend over the black makeup into the gray makeup. I love how that blended. The silver lid lingerie sort of is more creamy than powdery like I thought it would be, but I can blend it back and forth sort of that they mix and create the shimmer shine that I really like. So now that I've blended, I'm just going to add in some more black again, just to really darken up that outer corner. So now on the outer portion of the inner portion of my lid, if that makes sense, I'm going to be using, I believe, Mushroom from this palette, which is a nice dark silver just to transition the black to the regular silver. Onto the part that I find to be the most challenging, which is eyeliner. The only way I've been able to do it successfully is using a bent brush and gel eyeliner. I can't ever make the darn liquid eyeliners work. They always get all patchy and chunky. And with an eyeliner pencil, I always just end up stabbing my eye. I'm using Bobbi Brown's Black Ink Pot, which is a long wear gel eyeliner that I have only been using since I found it. I really like it. Just gonna swirl it, get it all over the brush, and I'm going to be applying a massive cat eye because this is like Black Panther. So now I'm going to peel off the tape, which is so satisfying and is honestly my favorite part of all beauty makeups. But I'm thinking I'm going to put some black and silver on the lower lid as well and also continue the cat eye um, eyeliner. So we'll see what happens. But here we go. Here's the, here's the satisfying part. Yes. So because I had to adjust the tape, it needs a little bit of cleanup, but that's okay. We'll do that later. Yeah. Mm. Using the same eyeliner as I did on the upper lid, I'm going to line my lower lid. Now back with my dark black, I am going to be smudging out my lower lid just to make it a little more smoky and dramatic.
When I do makeup, I personally like to use a primer, especially when it's beauty makeup, because I think it just smooths your pores out and it makes you have like a more flawless finish. I am using Sephora Ultra Smoothing Primer. You can do your makeup in any order that you prefer, but I personally like getting the eyes over and done with because I always end up ruining my foundation from all the fallout anyway. All right, on to foundation. I personally like using Liquid Foundations and Makeup Forever's Professional Paris Ultra HD. It is my personal favorite. It is in the tint. Honestly, I've never looked for the tint before and I can't find it on the label, so it's, it's for white people. It's actually darker than my skin tone, but it's the lightest color they have, so eh, I'm like a ghost, what can I say? Couple of pumps. It's really cold down here, so the pump is like, what are you doing? There we go. Same thing, beauty blender all over my face. Um, make sure you're not dragging or pushing too hard, it's literally just like a dabbing, twisting motion. Make sure you blend it down onto your neck so it just doesn't have this crazy transition from flawless to like regular skin. Yes. Because I always forget this step and actually I already forgot it which is why I moved on but I need some mascara so I'm going back to mascara. My personal favorite mascara is Marc Jacobs in Omega Lash. It has like a ton of volume and it's just really black which I want my mascara to be black so that's nice. In my personal opinion, all contouring looks super weird and super artificial until you blend it. Try to get those little baby hairs out of the way. You don't want to squish them into your makeup. Contouring done, moving on to bronzing powder. I just like to go over the edges of my forehead and on the edges of my face with this. It sort of just adds a little bit of color since I am so pale. It is the MAC Bronzing Powder in the color Matte Bronze. Very original. I need a little creative on my hand and see if I can actually use some silver eyeshadow to dust over my cheekbones to make it look like a silver highlighter because I don't actually have one. We shall see. I think it'll work. Oh yeah, it'll work. So lightly using my NYX Tin Shadow, I'm gonna create silver highlighter, but it's just gonna be a light dusting. Ha! Huh. That totally worked. Blush time! I like to use Tarte Cosmetics blush simply because it's the best pink I have found that's not like BAM! In your face! Bright. I like a more natural blush. Now that that's done and all of the cream based products are on my face, I'm going to be setting it with a translucent setting powder, the kind that I like to use somewhere on this magical table of mine. Aha, there it is. Is Laura Merci. I think that's, it's a French brand. Either that it's Mercier, but I think it's Merci. It's basically just a white powder that you use to set your makeup. With a big fluffy brush, I am going to poof it all over my face until the makeup's set. So the setting powder not only makes everything stay in place, but it also reduces shines. So any oiliness or any, mm, I don't want to say moisture because it doesn't dehydrate your face, but any sheen, I guess, gets taken away from the product. You can over powder though, so just, just start with a little amount and then like build your way up. I'm going to be changing into a different outfit that I think is more Black Panther-esque. I'm really excited about it, so I'm just going to go do that real quick. Whew, okay, <laughs> now I'm really cold. Stupid winter, stupid basement. Uh, but I think that this uh, this outfit definitely fits Black Panther way better than your stereotypical hoodie does. So now I'm just gonna move on to the lips. I saw these really cute lips that I can't find the artist on Google, but they're black and it has sort of like a silver lining on the top. 
and it like fades into the black. So I'm gonna do my best to recreate that. I only have one black lipstick and I hate it. It's by Kat Von D. I like her eyeshadows, but this stuff smells like tar and it applies horribly. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my best. Um, I'm not even gonna talk you through the process because this is just like a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth thing. Just because this product is just so nasty. Every time I use this, I always think, why aren't I just using black body paint? I'm gonna use silver, the lid lingerie, on my lips just to see if it gets the effect that I want, and I think it will. Then with white lid lingerie, I'm gonna go on the center of the bottom lid. You know what, honestly, I really think that that lid lingerie stuff works better as a lipstick than that lipstick does. I'm loving the metallic aspect of this, oh my gosh. Oh, look at the shine! Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond! I was originally going to use a wig for this look, but the part just looked too synthetic. Because it's a cheaper wig, so... I think I'm just gonna go with my actual hair. I'd be wearing it in a ponytail though, because my hair is crazy staticky today. So these are just dental grade acrylic fangs that are like custom little teeth hats, I guess, that are shaped into little fangs. These are made by my friend Stavros at chaoscustomfangs.com. They're really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. And please let me know your honest opinions on this makeup in the comments below. Any improvements that can be made, any tips on eyebrows or anything is always welcome. And also let me know if you like this style of video. I honestly, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed sitting down and just like talking to you guys while I work. But other than that, I'm really excited to see the new Black Panther movie. But I love you guys and I will see you next Saturday.